Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I don't know how anybody else does it. I've seen cut from this thing on coils. I found the easiest way is just to flick it out like that. Automatic shutoff doesn't work, and this cuts about as straight as a cow going to market. I'm going to have to square this up after making the cuts. That's okay. Well, tightening up the blade made it a lot better. It's not perfect yet, but it's a lot better. Got some work to do on the saw. It's cutting a little cockeyed still. Tightening up the blade helped, but I think I've got to adjust the guides a little bit. Uh, also, this is not a stellar blade. This is a Harbor Freight blade. So, there's a good chance that the set isn't perfect on it and it makes it want to wander. But it actually does cut. And the motor works and all the pieces and parts work after a fashion. I have to adjust the stop switch so that when it reaches the bottom of the cut it actually shuts off. That's just a matter of lengthening out the tab so that it actually reaches down and touches the switch. Now to my mind one of the big advantages to power tools, especially something like this power saw, is that it can work semi unattended. You have to watch it and have to make sure that everything's working okay. But it will start a cut and continue cutting all the way through. So I need two spacers. One for either side of this because if I don't have a spacer in there, when this thing starts getting a load on it, it's just going to pinch that front end shut and bend that plate. So I need to cut that. This box tube is two and a half inches.
that he wins the race. could use some work. There's too much slop in that block there. That needs to be tightened up. But it's cutting nice and straight now. Maybe the blade just need to be worn in. Or I just got lucky on this one. I'm going to cut a couple of pieces of quarter inch plate out of this and make the attachment point for the upper link. While this saw is around cutting off this plate, I'm going to use the grinder and square up the ends of these things a little bit. This is a cut from the factory, so that's actually pretty square. This one doesn't need a whole lot. And this one is fairly square too. I just want to clean them up so they look better. advantage to having a 20 amp circuit in the garage. I can run both these power tools at the same time and since I now have a semi-automatic power tool it can be left to run on its own while I'm off doing something else. That's going to speed up projects a whole heck of a lot. Now I still need to fix the things that are wrong on this because it is a far cry from what I expect out of a piece of equipment. But, considering what I paid for it, and the fact that the guy who gave it to me said it wasn't worth a whole heck of a lot, I'm really pleased with it. Because I did a whole lot of cutting on steel today and I didn't burn myself, I didn't set anything on fire, and I didn't have to work very hard. I'm not sweating at all. Well, the messy saw work is done, and the messy grinding work is done. Now I've got to get into the messy drilling work, but that's going to come tomorrow. I think I've done all I can do today. Time's running out, I've got other things going. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know, I read them all. Thanks for watching.